G'day everyone, welcome back to the Hobby Hatch. Recently I've revisited the Studio Ghibli movies, specifically been enamoured by the awesome design of Porco Rosso's fighter seaplane, the Savoia S21. So as an excuse to print and paint this awesome plane, I thought I'd create a little diorama to show it off. In this one we'll be making a diorama of Porco's hideout, and to start this, I'll first be laying down a layer of XPS foam to an MDF board and locking it in place with PVA glue. I then traced out the rough topography of the diorama surface using a quit sketch I mocked up on some art paper. I then subsequently cut out the ripples of the seabed in the foreground and then the cliffs that make up the background. which I further shaped with my hot wire cutters engraving tool. Using a piece of a foam off cut, I cut out a little cliff dwelling which we can see in some of the shots from the movie. You'll see it a little bit later in the video. Kinda didn't seal this properly with Mod Podge before spraying it and uh, it dissolved a little bit, but I, I think it turned out all right in the end. I then covered the entire foam surface with a mixture of Mod Podge, plaster and paint and left that to dry. I moved on to painting Porco and his Savoy S21 by first priming them black and adding a Zenith or pre-shade using titanium white ink. I then coated the Savoy in a healthy layer of Doomfire Magenta Contrast through the airbrush. The first coat came out very hot pink, um, but adding a couple extra layers gave it a really vibrant red color, um, which I thought matched nicely. I then picked out all the details such as the exhaust vents, the propeller blade, and a few of the little metallic parts on the back of the engine. and then moved on to painting the Italian flag over the rudder. The pontoons and the underside of the plane got a coat of mangoey orange paint. And after that was done, I decided to bite the bullet and attempt to paint the Royal House of Savoy insignia on the rudder, uh, which we can see in the movie.
I then gave the entire model a coat of gloss varnish uh, to prepare it for oil washing. Once the oil washer dried, I wasn't too happy with how dulled down the highlights were. So I gave the high areas a coat of Evil Sun Scarlet, which is a nice, bright, vibrant red, and finished by giving the model another coat of gloss varnish to give it a nice cohesive shine. I then moved on to painting Porco. First I painted his coveralls with a healthy coat of Wraithbone. I then painted his boots black and moved on to painting his scarf and gloves white. His belt got a coat of Rhinox hide and then his flight cap was painted with good old Baylor Brown. His face then got a coat of Kislev Flesh, picking out his nose with Cadian Flesh Tone. I then picked out his moustache, goggles and glasses with black. A layer of Reichland flesh shade was then applied over the whole model, and highlights were given to his coveralls, face, and belt using the appropriate brighter colours. Painted up a little table and a vintage clock to go along with the rest of the piece. as well as a little tent that I cobbled together with Super Sculpey and toothpicks. With those finished, I moved on to painting the terrain. All of the sandy areas got a base coating of Baylor Brown through the airbrush, which I then gave a directional highlight with Skeleton Horde. I really like this technique for painting really fine sandy textures, um, aided by the plaster mix, which gives it kind of a sandy texture at this scale. Um, but rather than giving it a, a dry brush over the entire thing, Kind of makes it look a bit dusty as this is going to be kind of you know a, a sandy ocean bed um it, it kind of helps to give the allure that it's a bit more silky underneath the water cliff areas were then base coated with a dark gray i think this was eschen gray and then dry brush with dawnstone to pick out all the sharp details
Next, I prepared the diorama for its resin pour by securing acrylic sheets around the base with silicone sealant. I made this little floating wharf out of coffee stir sticks and 3D printed barrels, which along with Porco's plane, I stuck down to the seabed with acrylic lollipop sticks and super glue. After tinting the resin with blue and green alcohol inks, I then poured the resin into the mold. I should preface that I didn't really prepare this mold very well for the resin. There were plenty of air pockets stuck in the plaster Mod Podge layer, um, which I could have kind of mitigated by putting down a thin layer of maybe like Vallejo water effects to seal them in. Um, so a lot of bubbles were generated once the resin cured and heat heated up. Um, so in future, I'll definitely plan this out a little bit better. Otherwise, it turned out uh, pretty nicely. A really good color, I thought. A few bubbles came up to the surface uh, and you can see a lot of bubbles kind of inside the resin um, when it was kind of heating up and pulling all those air bubbles up. Um, but overall, quite happy. With that done, I stuck Porco and all the remaining props down. and added grass tufts to the top of the cliff. I touched up the water section by using some white paint to give the indication that some small waves were rolling in. And with all that done, I called this diorama finished. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Another big thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel lately. The warmth the channel has seen in such a short amount of time is truly mind blowing and I can't thank you all enough for leaving such nice comments, feedback and suggestions. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Lots more to come in the near future, so I'll see you in the next one.